Kirby Forgotten Land is coming out right around the corner and I am super excited. So excited that I decided I was gonna make a super cool sculpture of Kirby sucking up a vending machine. Let's get going. So the first thing I needed to do was make a big ball of tin foil and I tried to make it as round as possible to make things easier for me when I laid the clay down. Once I had a good roly poly ball, I took my knife and cut a spot out into it, making room for the mouth. Once I had everything in place for the tinfoil, I had to start covering this in clay to make our lovable Kirby. I was originally going to use firm Super Sculpey for this, but then I went in and actually decided to go with medium. Because of the color tone of the clay itself, it would actually cover a lot better with the light pink paint I was going to put on this. And I really focused on this layer to be as smooth as possible, so it would reduce the amount of sanding that I would have to do to make this thing as even as I could and make it more of a ball shape. So I went in and smoothed smoothed it out and smoothed it out more, drank a smoothie and then smoothed it out some more. It was finally smooth and time to burn him a lot. <coughs> I mean, bake him in the oven. Once the first layer was baked, it was time to start adding things like feet, arms, the eyes, the tongue, and then throw him back in the oven again. Sorry, I don't know what came over me there. All right, well, it's no longer just a ball. It's a ball with hands and feet. And that means it's time for paint. I quickly snagged my airbrush and mixed up a nice light pink color to spray on this piece. Now, the only problem I ran into is I couldn't find my normally portable air compressor that I use when it comes to doing my sprays. So I had to actually buy this really cheap one and it holds pressure for about one second or so. So I had to make a lot of fast sprays. This did cause a little bit of runs in the paint, but nothing too bad. And then for the little features, I went in and painted those by hand like the sparkly blue eyes that he has, or his grotesquely big red mouth. And look at this gorgeous pink blob. Next, we have the platform to make that Kirby will be standing on. For this, I actually dug through my trash and found some styrofoam from a present that I got for my birthday. Don't ask me how old I turned. Too old. Just, yeah, don't ask. Anyways, once I cut the foam down to shape, I went in and sanded it down to a very nice and smooth surface. I then took a pencil to make an indent in the foam to mimic kind of like a stone tile look, and then painted the whole thing gray. Once that was all dried, I gave the whole thing a dark wash and then dabbed it off with a tissue. It was definitely not toilet paper, it was, it was tissue. Anyways, once I was done with the wash, I then added some dry brushing highlights to the whole thing. And then to add some final touches, I added some moss green paint throughout the entire thing to kind of give it a little more grungy look. Don't worry, I am going to come in at the very end and add some actual final grass and rock details once I had already started kind of putting everything together. Okay, so time to make the vending machine. This part was pretty straightforward. I just found some cardboard and then cut it into six pieces and then taped it all together and then shoved a metal rod through the bottom. On one of the faces, I made sure to make a slot for the dispenser part as well. After that, I went in and added clay on all of the sides and then baked the entire thing so it was nice and solid. Then I needed to add some detail work. I added some buttons and a front panel and then baked it again. I actually thought I recorded that part, but apparently I didn't, so sorry about that. Once it was all done baking, I painted the entire thing in a dark gray color. And then I went in and kind of painted some of the small details like the buttons on the actual dispenser. And then I needed to add the front panel picture, which I actually just made on Photoshop because I couldn't find a high resolution version of the actual vending machine from the game, but I did take a little snippet from there and then just kind of made my own thing and then printed it up and just glued it with Mod Podge. Now for the last big thing in this piece, the wind effect that's making him suck this thing up. For this, I took a solo cup and wrapped it in some duct tape. Once the surface was covered, I took some UV curing resin and drizzled it around the entire cup and then dropped that cup into my homemade UV light container. This thing is so beautiful when it's spinning. Once that was all solid though, I just had to remove it from the cup. 
I did break a couple pieces off when I was taking the whole thing out, but just adding a little bit of extra resin and holding it together underneath the light and it should solidify and reattach no problem. And that's all the big stuff all done. Now is the fun part of the final assembly and all the extra little tiny details I wanna add to this. All right, thank you everyone for watching this video till the end. If you haven't yet, check out my Patreon where you can get updates on videos like this one. And if you haven't yet, check out this video where I made a Pokeball using Super Sculpey or this video right here where I made a spooky graveyard using Super Sculpey. But remember, like always, keep drawing and until next time, bye.